All right, so this is game two. Let's jump right into this. Let me just lower the volume real quick. It's a little too loud. I'll reverse it. All right, here it is. Okay, you have the advantage. Good grab, good grab. Okay, good good punish. You were able to make it there in time. Okay, uh, let's see what you could have done there. Okay, I do want to point out, uh, versus Peach, uh, I want you to know, Lightspeed, that her side B is different now. Her side B actually got nerfed in the last patch uh, since the last time we played. Her side B got nerfed um, which means she can't cancel out of the side B as fast anymore. It's like four frames lag here. So what you could have done there is you actually could have done a jump fair out of shield or jump back out of shield, depending on which way you were facing. I think you could have done jump near too, but I think jump fair back here are probably better. Uh, you could have punished her right after she hit your shield with that. It's no longer safe on shield, uh, at least versus some characters, Roy being one of them. Uh, so... Next time a Peach player hits your shield, just jump forward air, like on reaction. Uh, uh, so definitely be mindful of that. Let's watch that again real quick. Okay, so right there is where you could have fared. You went for an F smash. Think about it. F smash is not going to kill. It is going to put him off stage, but you're stealing the move and it's not going to kill. So I think jump fair would have been better. So jump fair. Yeah, you got whiff punish for using F smash. Okay, good, good job stuffing out that whiff grab. Good job stuffing out the dash attack with a jump nair. Really good advantage state. Okay, uh, not bad. Okay. Oh, okay. Um. So. You want to be very careful covering rolls like that. If you're going to cover a roll like that, um, what I would have recommended instead of using dash back F tilt, with which yes, it would have been more rewarding. I think dash back up tilt could have covered roll from both sides. It could have covered roll if Peach were to be in front of you or if the Peach were to have landed right behind you after the roll. Uh, instead, you went for the F tilt, which you whiffed because the Peach was behind you. Um, so a better option would have been dash back up tilt. It would have covered both front and back. Uh, so let's look at that again and you'll see what I mean. So dash back up tilt there would have caught, uh, caught Peach's roll. Okay, that was a interesting trade. You're still in the lead though. Just be very careful with the Saturn. I'm, I'm talking to you like, I'm talking to you like if you're playing the game right now. Okay, good job stuffing out that Peach Bomber. Okay, that was a dash grab. Um, I think you I think you were dashing just a little too far. It's probably a timing issue there. So dash grab right there. Uh, the Peach instead stuffed you out with a jab. Okay, that was questionable DI there. I don't think you were supposed to die. I just don't think you were ready for that side B. Yeah, you definitely weren't ready for that side B. You weren't supposed to die to that. Uh, DI would have saved you. Oh no, <laughs> you got hit by the Saturn. All right, let's see what the Peach gets out of this. Okay, luckily, luckily this Peach did not Peach combo you. That was supposed to be like a 0 to 60, 0 to 70 combo, but you only got 26%, that's fine. Uh, what I recommend, by the way, if you're not comfortable with a Saturn on stage, the next time you're able to grab it, just throw it away. Good job. You you went for the preemptive up B right there. Good job. You you avoided a very, very early gimp. Uh, good job on that. Okay, good job throwing it away. I figured. Yeah, once again, you did F tilt out of shield. I mean, drop shield, F tilt. Correction. You could have gone for a jump forward air. Um, if you have the time to lab that with a friend, definitely try that. Uh, it's definitely going to help you punish side B on shield. Because it's not safe anymore. Right there, you could have done... Right there, that exact 
pausing moment that you see there. That's where you could have uh, jump fared out of shield. Peach can't do anything about it. Peach just has to take the hit. Okay, uh, jump back, uh, jump back, float forward air. Uh, I don't think you reacted to it. I think I think you just got confused. Oh no, no, you actually got whiff punished for F tilting. So yeah, jump fair would have solved all your issues there in that interaction. So jump fair there would have been perfect. Good job overshooting your uppie on the on the ledge there. Uh, using Nair, I think Nair would have been better because it's two hits, and it has more it has more horizontal range, so you're able to stuff out Peach from a further distance. So right there, short hop, short hop, uh, Nair would have been a little better in my opinion. Not bad though, you did you it, you didn't take too much for it. Okay. That was a little risky. Like I said, if you see the opponent has a uh, double jump, in this case, Peach has a float. You definitely want to wait until the Peach exhausts the float for the punish. Because now Peach is probably just going to float onto the stage. Yeah, so the Peach floated back onto the stage. Okay, that was really clutch. Oh yeah, the Peach is going to the other side of the stage. Okay, yeah, you rolled preemptively. Usually, uh, when the opponent is at kill percent, in this case you were at kill percent, it is a common habit to preemptively pick an option. Just because waiting can be scary. I understand waiting on the ledge at a kill percent can be really scary. Uh, but sometimes that's the better mix-up. Uh, this Peach player looks like uh, looks like Peach covered the option because of the preemptive roll. Actually, I don't think you rolled because you were at kill percent or you were nervous. I think you rolled because you thought you were going to get hit by the turnip and you tried teching. Um, so instead, you buffered a roll. I don't blame you. I don't blame you for that. But just be a bit more patient next time. Just try to wait things out a little more. Not bad though. Yeah, okay, good stuff. Getting that uh, back here. Okay, I think you may have overextended there a bit of neutral. Yeah, you went way too far. So now Peach got stage control. Yeah. Okay, good job. You punished it there. Uh, jump up here. Good job. Combo breaking. A oh, good job. Except the only problem was, good job on the on the dash back. It's just I don't think you reacted or confirmed off off of that uh, whiff punish. I don't think you whiff punished there at all. Yeah. So right here, Peach whiffed a Peach bomber. You could have done jab into a combo. You could have done a grab down throw, but you did literally nothing. You kind of just tried to cross him up instead. That might have been due to nerves, but don't worry about that. That that'll go away naturally. Good job. Hmm. Like I said, dash back up tilt would have probably covered that. So just be a bit more mindful of uh, roll options. You could cover roll options really well with dash up tilt. Up tilt will cover both front and back. Oh, let's look at that again. Good job. Right there. That up tilt would have definitely covered that for sure. Good good confirm there. Jab into forward air. Or oh, I think you did up air. I'm not I don't remember. Alright, good good falling fair. Oh, okay, yeah. Um Okay, remember what I told you in the last video? Whenever the opponent whiffs an attack and they're at a kill percent, they're most likely going to shield. Look at look at what Peach did. Look at what Peach did after whiffing a forward air. Right there. Look, so Peach whiffs a forward air. Look at the option pick. Uh, Peach picks.
Okay, so Peach actually spot dodged there. Um, yeah, Peach spot dodge. My mistake, Peach didn't shield. Uh, but the point is, they are very likely to pick a defensive option. So if you're able to work around it, maybe do like a cross up up air. Or go for a grab. Or go for multiple down tilts. That could work out as well. Yeah, so you could have like done a couple down tilts there. I think I think down tilts a bit faster. Yeah, you need a you need a really forward air out of, out of shield after the peach bomber. Okay, good job catching that side B. Uh, I think you punished it there that time. Yeah, you did. You did the sliding tilt, sliding forward tilt. Oh, good job being very mindful of that parasol. Really good job. Good cross up, good spacing. Look, wow, that was really good spacing. Uh, you did a good job spacing your moves there. You did not get punished. Watch, you did not get punished. Except you could have punished yourself with a forward air out of shield. Yeah, another forward air, uh, there are uh, another forward air out of shield that you could have gotten except you just probably you probably just don't know that it's safe, but you could go for it. Okay, good wait. Good wait. Good job waiting in the disadvantage, not being all that aggressive. <gasps> oh no, that's a stitch. Okay, yeah. Falling forward air, taking the stock there. Taking the set, I think, I believe. Okay, so let's see what happened. Okay, so... I think you died, mainly because you whiffed an air. But at the same time, I don't blame you because you had... Pretty much didn't have a shield. And the way the Peach player spaced the forward air there... Like that. Just like that would have definitely shield poked your small shield. So the Peach player did get lucky in that interaction because of the stitch. But uh, usually in a situation like that, I'm just going to be honest with you. I just jump. I just jump and I air dodge towards the center of the stage. So that's what I would have done. I usually just jump air dodge towards the center of the stage. Um, that way I can at least regain stage control or even if they hit me I don't go that far because I'm closer to the center of the stage now um, Anything that I want to say overall From this second set is this peach player was abusing uh, Of the fact that you wouldn't Nair out of shield or fair out of shield after peach hit you with side B your goal after Peach hits you with side B is to jump is to use a jump aerial because they nerfed her side B to the point where she can't act immediately after it anymore. She can't re she can't retreat as far, she can't near as fast anymore. It got nerfed. So you're wel you're welcome to jump out of shield and fare a peach that has just side bead you. Side bead your shield. Um Another thing I want to mention is if you're not comfortable with a Mr. Saturn on stage, just get rid of it. You're welcome to get rid of it. Um, another thing that I saw was the rolling, uh, the rolling options. So every time the Peach player picked a roll option, you went for the tilt. You went for the forward tilt or the back tilt uh, option instead of an up tilt. Just so you know, if you're confident that you're going to land the F tilt, go for it. But if you're not sure, if you're unsure of your positioning and your timing, go for up tilt. Up tilt will cover both front and back. And yeah, this last situation, it was just very unfortunate that Stitch kind of gave you no shield there. And based on what I see on this on this screen right now, it looks like you were going to get shield poked anyway. So I don't blame you, dude. Um, actually, I'm going to be real with you. There is something you could have done. Here's what it is. Let's just go back real quick. Right. 
Okay, so instead of using jump nair, you could have done up B. You could have up B at the peach player. It would have stuffed out the falling fair. Falling fair is takes way too long to come out. It's like frame 12 or something, frame uh, 13. So using up, B at, using up B at a shield rather than jump nair at a shield would have been the much better option. Yes, it would have been riskier. It could have, it could have, you know, it could have gone bad. But it was a little obvious what the Peach was kind of going for here. Yeah, in a, in a situation like this, it's a little obvious. Peach is probably going to fall with an aerial. Peach is less likely to retreat. So up at a shield would have been perfect. Yeah, instead you did jump near. All right, uh, good stuff. Uh, a few things that are uh, I see are really good from you. Is I feel like your attack selection, the attacks you are choosing to punish, are pretty good. They're not bad. I want to say maybe like 60-70% there. It's just there was uh there was a lot of whiff punishes that you could have punished, but you you either ran into the move or you just didn't punish them at all. Uh, a really good example was the side B on shield. All of those side Bs on shield, there were at least i want to say at least eight of them all of those side on shields were jump fares potentially jump fares from roy uh so just keep that in mind hopefully that helps you out for your next match versus the peach players by the way lightspeed i hope you're having a good one i haven't talked to you in a while uh let me know if this vod review was sufficient for you let me know if you have any other questions or if you need me to look over anything else i'd be happy to help you out dude and thanks for giving me the opportunity to do a VOD review for you, dude. It's been a pleasure.